Prince Charles reportedly dishonored Princess Diana the day after her death with offensive comments. Princess Diana passed away in 1997, but she remains one of the most beloved members of the royal family, and a figure of inspiration around the world. As the mother of Prince William and Prince Harry, the people's princess made an indelible impression on history that will never be forgotten. Still, it is easy to forget how much controversy surrounded Princess Diana in her day, in particular, her much buzzed about marriage to Prince Charles. There was a great deal of animosity between the two, so much so that, according to a recent report, Prince Charles even made an offensive comment about his ex-wife in the days following her untimely death. When did Princess Diana and Prince Charles get married? Princess Diana was only a teenager when she started her romantic relationship with the much older Prince Charles. Their relationship attracted massive media attention from the beginning. The public couldn't get enough of the beautiful Diana Spencer, and when their engagement was announced in 1981, the public interest reached an absolute fever pitch. Princess Diana and Prince Charles were married in the summer of 1981 in a spectacle that was televised for all the world to see. It is estimated that 750 million people tuned in to watch the fairy tale wedding of the two royals, according to Vogue. Less than a year later, Princess Diana gave birth to the couple's first child, Prince William. Two years after the birth of Prince William, they welcomed their second son, Prince Harry. Although it seems as though Prince Charles and Princess Diana had everything going for them, the truth was that the two were experiencing some truly difficult times behind the scenes. Prince Charles and Princess Diana's tumultuous divorce Reportedly, Prince Charles and Princess Diana's marriage had begun to crumble only shortly after their wedding. Many believe that Princess Diana found out about Prince Charles' relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles while on their honeymoon, and the knowledge of his infidelity destroyed her as well as any confidence that she had in the stability of their marriage. Whatever their problems, and there were likely many of them, by the late 80s, cracks had begun to form in their marriage, as well as in the public's perception of their union. In 1992, the royal family announced that Prince Charles and Princess Diana would be separating. This was unprecedented within the royal family and a great deal of controversy surrounded the announcement. The couple's divorce was finalized in 1996 and resulted in Princess Diana attempting to live a much more low-key life than she had as a member of the royal family. What offensive comment did Prince Charles reportedly make after Princess Diana's death? While Princess Diana might not have been considered an official member of the royal family in the months following her divorce from Prince Charles. She never stopped advocating for the less fortunate, always using her platform for the greater good. Sadly, her life was cut short when, in August 1997, she was killed in a Paris car crash. Theories about her death linger to this day, but there is one definite truth about the matter. The world went into mourning when the news broke. In spite of the sadness surrounding the news of her death, a recent report claims that Prince Charles actually took a combative approach with Princess Diana's brother when it came time to finalize her funeral arrangements. Page Six reported that Charles Spencer did not believe that Prince William and Prince Harry should walk behind Princess Diana's casket in the public memorial service, as the two young boys had already been through enough. According to the report, Spencer felt quite sure that Diana would have been horrified at the idea of her sons having to endure such an ordeal. One tense phone conversation between the two men ended with, the Earl slamming down the phone on his brother-in-law after Charles had made a particularly offensive comment about Diana. Although the report did not state what exactly Prince Charles said to anger the other man quite so much, it must have been something truly from left field. As everyone now knows, the two boys did end up walking behind the casket, in an indelible image that still echoes throughout the world to this day.